Yeah! Yeah, so I think I might keep you as a pet because we have the same laugh. What do you think? We're obviously both queens. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. My name is Beth, or Queen of Spade. Today, I wanted us to just have some fun, take a break from throwing spade at Huns. I'm still working on the anti-MLM and anti-vax video, but I wanted us to just refresh since the last two videos were a lot of information. So we are doing a subreddit I found on Ask Reddit. Looks fun. I think it'll be a great time. So get comfy and let's throw some spade and have some laughs. Apparently you can ask Reddit anything so let's see what people are asking it what is the worst piece of information you know oh my god this should be so fun i'm so excited i can't wait let's do this dying on the toilet is a lot more common than people realize when you have a bowel movement, the action of pushing can cause a rise in blood pressure that can lead to a cardiac arrest. Edit 1. I use this study that indicates a possible rise in blood pressure, but others have mentioned a critical drop. Either it can be fatal, and they leave a link. <laughs> so yeah, that's a... Uh... That's definitely some weird information to know. So, you know, be careful out there, guys, when you're doing your bowel movements, I guess. Rest in peace, Elvis. <laughs> Man, that's kind of funny. Oh, not funny. It is a little funny, though, but rest in peace, Elvis. Female hyenas give birth through their long penis-like clitor- Oh my goodness. Female hyenas give birth through their long, penis-like clitorises and usually end up tearing horribly, if not completely ripping it off. Oh, I feel for them so much. Ah! Wow, see, absolute queen. See, I should keep you as a pet. Ah, okay, no, never mind, never mind. Bad idea. I get it, okay. Out of here. Sorry, you go. Okay, so uh, moving on, and uh, can we just take a minute to pay homage to this person's lovely, fabulous, fabulous name? Yep, you see that? Okay, so this one is a little bit personal. I know, Fred, right? Like, a little personal on here, I guess. So, Let's read this one. There's a guy in my town that everyone knows about because he owns this huge bum mansion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to be PG for a moment. It's not working. Bum mansion just doesn't sound right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. This huge ass mansion in a middle class neighborhood. Apparently, he was married to a woman for a long time, but she left him calling him a loser because his business hadn't taken off yet. Was he working for an MLM? <laughs> After she left him, his business finally took off. Oh, no, I guess I guess he wasn't. <laughs> he sells medical equipment to hospitals. Yes, much better than an MLM. Okay, moving on. And he became... Oh, you levels of rich in a few years. The reason he built the mansion in that neighborhood was because that is where she lives. So she has to drive by the mansion on her way to work every day. Oh, ouch. Yes. Yes, that that's some spade right there. That's how you throw spade. Hashtag savage. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, Disney owns the domain Muppet. Like any chance that I ever had of monetization, gone right now. I'm assuming it's supposed to be MuppetFucker.net, 
but I, I guess that's what it is. So I don't know. I, I just want to keep going. Oh my God. Why is it continuing? Okay. Um, and then they let us know that Nintendo owns a porno called Super Horneo Brothers. Um, do you have the sauce, brother? For research purposes, I suspect no for the plot. I didn't, I didn't need to know this. I just, I, nobody needs to know this. Childhood ruined. I would say thank you, but I'm not thankful. Okay, moving on. All right, guys, I think I'm done with that one for now. I've heard enough weird things people know. Um, so I found another question that I want to check out. I've been married for six years, and so when I read this, I was like, this could be good. There could be some good stuff in here, some good advice or something. I don't know, but let's check it out. I know, Fred. Okay, we're checking it out. Husbands and wives that got divorced after 20 years of marriage what made you decide to change your mind after all that time? See, it's a good thing to look into, you know. Been married six years, not quite 20. I'm like, yeah, might be good to know what's in future. Oh my God, guys, I might actually need your help. Seriously, guys, what the fuck do I do? Should I ask Reddit? I swear it'd be like that, y'all. My husband's parents did this. Everyone likes a good mother-in-law story, I guess. He said he knew his parents weren't happy for a long time. Said they went to a family therapy together, but ultimately, once my husband went to the army, he was the younger of two, they divorced and both later married other people. These two could not get along for anything. They hated each other. At our wedding, we had to take separate family pictures with the dad and new wife and then the mom and my sister-in-law. It was insane. That actually is pretty insane. Cut to about two years after our wedding and I get a phone call from father-in-law's wife of 10 years. She is in hysterics. She had caught him in bed with my mother-in-law. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> My husband would not believe it until he talked to his father. Oh, oh Lord, could you imagine? <laughs> that was over 10 years ago. My in-laws both divorced their partners and have been together ever since. My mother-in-law has all their old family pictures on display everywhere and acts like they never divorced and have been together for over four decades. <laughs> That's kind of a happy ending to like a divorce story though. <laughs> So much for them hating each other though, huh? I love this. I just love this. This is great. It's seriously a happy ending to a divorce story. Mwah. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing that. And I loved sharing it with all of you. Let's see what other reasons we have. So let's find out why husbands and wives got divorced after 20 years of marriage. I feel like that was too happy. He tried to kill me, which I feel is impolite. How rude. Yeah, no, that, that will do it. I just really hope that they're joking. Just really hope. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, guys, I'm going to have to end the video there because I really need to figure out how to get rid of this hyena. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video there. I don't know. Maybe I should be asking Reddit how to do it. Maybe you guys will see me on there. My link to my Reddit page is actually on my channel, so click on that. And I do make videos every Monday and Friday. They come out at 10 a.m., but I usually have a special one, usually on Wednesday. Whoa, guys, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta end this video. Really sorry. I gotta figure this out. Um, it, uh, it's just really, really hard. I cannot have two things after me. You know what I'm saying? Can't have all this stuff coming out of spade here. See, guys, it's just way too much. Just way too much. Okay. <sighs> Gotta figure this out. So, please give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new. 
thank you so much again to everybody who already has. I am trying to get to 100 subs as soon as possible. So help us spade out. I hope that you are all having a wonderful time and that you love this video. Now, have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.